Also Leute, wir sind auf der Eurobike 2016. Ich bin jetzt gerade bei Giro und Giro hat einen äh, ziemlich coolen neuen Helm rausgebracht, den Switchblade. Und ja, was dieser äh, Helm kann, zeigt euch jetzt mal der äh, Produktentwickler von Giro, der Scott. Und ja, der erklärt euch jetzt mal die Features von dem neuen Helm. Yeah, this is the new Switchblade helmet from Giro. This is a fully ASTM downhill certified helmet with a removable chin bar. So with only two buttons, you can remove the chin bar and it's still fully ASTM downhill certified. Okay. As well as the American CPSC center and of course the EM1078 standard. So it's a, it's a really big uh, challenge to make one helmet that's fully certified in so many different ways to so many different standards. Yeah. And we're very proud of this helmet for, for that and so many other reasons. There's a lot of other uh, technology built in this helmet. Things like full goggle integration, so that you get hot on a climb, you can put your goggles up on top of the helmet underneath the visor. It's also got goggle grippers on the back of the helmet to hold onto your goggle strap. Of course, the removable chin bar, MIPS equipped inside. Okay. Also, it has a hydrophilic brow pad, so it soaks up 10 times more sweat than a normal brow pad. So less sweat dripping into your eyes. Yeah. On the inside, there's also a new thing that you don't commonly see on a downhill helmet, which is a fit system. Okay. This is a new fit system designed yeah. for downhill. It's called uh, Rocklock Air DH. Okay. That's that's really sort of two things. Rocklock Air elevates the helmet off of your head a little bit, creates a small gap, huge amount of airflow going mm -hmm. through there, as well as this is a downhill designed fit system. So it has a little bumper to protect it from your neck brace or your backpack adjusting the helmet while you're riding. It also has a clutch built into it so that if you just throw the, the helmet into your car, rather than braking, the helmet just the fit system just collapses on itself so it doesn't have any uh, damage problems. Okay. Well. When you remove the chin bar, it actually opens up this uh, new vent in here, which is exposed when the chin bar is off for additional airflow that goes uh, past your cheek over your ear and exhaust out the back of the helmet. Okay. So a lot of sweat management stories, as well as of course a triple certification, full goggle integration, and a reusable chin bar. So okay. fully built with the uh, chin bar, like that, at 975 grams. So it's also a very lightweight helmet. Of course, it's fully certified without the chin bar, and then it's only 600 grams. Okay, well. So it's a, it's a very lightweight, fully certified downhill helmet.